Aloha, I'm Ryan Kalei Suji. We are here on the campus of the University of Hawaii at Manoa. We're here on the lower campus for a big announcement and some exciting news. Uh, joining me here today as part of this announcement, we have, of course, David Matlin, Athletics Director here at the University of Hawaii. Peter Ho, Chairman, President and CEO of Bank of Hawaii. And during this time of COVID, of course, we are staying physically distant and someone else who is physically distant from us but joining us here today is Arena Manager Rich Sheriff who has been sort of leading this arena and taking care of it since day number one. Uh, great to see all of you. Great to have you, Rich, here with us as well. As you can see, we are actually sitting here in front of the home bench for the University of Hawaii. Uh, things have certainly changed. This is the new setup. This is the first time we're actually seeing this in action. Of course, inspired by the NBA bubble setup and of course, an illustration of the times that we are in now with COVID-19 and the guidelines of physical distancing. So great to see this and great again, kudos to Rich and team for putting this all together because it looks great and we're really looking forward to the upcoming season. David, I want to start off with you here as we begin this conversation. Certainly COVID-19 has changed and impacted so much of our lives here in 2020 and athletics is no different. Uh, we've seen seasons be put on hold. We've seen how student athletes have had to readjust. How else has the athletic department been sort of impacted by this pandemic and your ability to sort of operate? Yeah, well, Ryan, you're right. The pandemic has impacted all walks of life in our state, really in our country, and athletics is not unique to that. Um, from the day we closed down, uh, you know, we closed the basketball tournament down and had to come home. You know, we had no activities going on. We were just communicating with our athletes through Zoom as time went on and we got the right protocols in and testing and, you know, um, modified practice. We started doing some strength and conditioning. Um, but we really had to just retrofit our whole organization uh, facility wise and even the way we practice. And obviously it takes a lot of buy in from our coaches and our staff and a lot of work and our student athletes. On a financial perspective, I mean, obviously um, the revenue hit has been pretty severe uh, when you're looking at having football games right now without fans and it looks like basketball games without fans also. So that, that's, that's why uh, an opportunity like this with, um, with Bank of Hawaii is, 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 is really big to, to help us um, really continue to uh, educate our student athletes and have them compete at the highest level. Yeah, we want to bring in uh, Peter Ho now into this conversation. Peter, of course, the Bank of Hawaii and Bank of Hawaii Foundation been doing so much for the community during this time uh, with many donations that you folks are making it, it to other organizations. Uh, the University of Hawaii has also uh, benefited from the Bank of Hawaii. You guys have been a longtime supporter. And part of the reason why we're here today is, is to announce some of the things that you are doing to help the athletic department. Share a little bit about what Bank of Hawaii is doing to step in to help out. Yeah, thanks, Ryan. Uh, and, and thank you, Dave. <clears throat> you know, um, um, th this situation, this pandemic has been um, just, a, it's just a generational issue for, for all of us uh, and our community uh, certainly in particular. And the University of Hawaii obviously is not immune to what's happening financially. Uh, we believe the university is truly one of the jewels of our community and the athletic program is one of the jewels of the university. And so it seems very natural for us at this point to step in with a 10-year commitment of $5 million, which we think is going to help not just the athletic department, but the university as well. And in helping the university, we really think we're helping our community. So that's a pretty generous donation there. Uh, of course, again, an illustration of how Bank of Hawaii continues to step up. Uh, Dave, question back to you here. What does that donation mean uh, to the University of Hawaii? And what else was sort of included in this agreement? Well, first off, thank you, Peter, uh, to, to yourself, uh, Bank of Hawaii, the Simplified team, uh, all of you. This is a, uh, it's, um, you know, it's um, a little overwhelming. I mean, obviously, it's tough times. This is just such a testament to the best of Hawaii. So thank you. Um, you know, what it, what it means is this is, a, as you mentioned, Peter mentions, it's a 10-year partnership. It's a donation. And it's also part of a corporate partnership. Uh, what we're going to do, we're in the arena right now. This is where the um, athletes perform. Um, and live their dreams, really. Uh, we're going to rename this arena the Simplify Arena at the Stan Sheriff Center. Uh, as we know, the Stan Sheriff Center is much more than just this arena. Uh, it incorporates a, includes a 10,000 um, square foot strength and conditioning uh, area, the Alex Waterhouse, the Ed Wong um, hospitality area. Our ticket office for the University of Hawaii Athletics is housed here, as well as a training room, equipment room, and also, this is where our student athletes pick up their supplemental meals. So every day they're, they're usually eating here, but now they're grab and go. 
So um, this is a big gathering place, not just for the whole state of Hawaii, but also for our, our, the focus part of our athletics. So the Simplify Arena at the Stan Sheriff Center, we're very excited about that. Simplify Arena at Stan Sheriff Center, I love the name. Peter, uh, talk to us a little bit about how you folks came up with the name. And for those that aren't familiar, maybe explain what Simplify means to Bank of Hawaii. Sure, uh, so let me begin with what Simplify is. So uh, as I think as all of, um, all of our viewers and listeners understand, you know, things are changing. And so, you know, our bank, uh, banks in general used to be traditionally walk-in types of operations, physical bricks and mortar, and increasingly things are moving to the web. And so Simplify is really our online presence. It started with our mortgages, but it's encompassing all of our consumer products right now. And what we thought was this would be a wonderful opportunity uh, to create a, a naming opportunity here at the Stan Sheriff Center really in, in tribute to Stan Sheriff himself. I mean, Stan was a visionary. He was a big thinker. Obviously, he was the, the power and the force behind this facility. And we thought combining uh, Simplify and our future to that just made all the sense in the world. And we're, we're so pleased to be doing this. Yeah, and now we want to, of course, bring in someone who knew Stan Sheriff well, his son, Rich Sheriff, who is joining us. Rich, thanks again for joining us here. You've been arena manager of this facility since day one. Your dad worked so hard uh, to see this facility get built. What are your thoughts on this name change, Simplify Arena uh, at Stan Sheriff Center? Um, well, you know, I think it's an awesome, awesome honor. Uh, I think my dad would be very proud. You know, he was always one, his vision was to share this facility with the state of Hawaii with the community and sharing it with the bank, I think would be, you know, uh, something that he would be very proud to have happen. Thanks, Rich. Peter, I want to bring you back in here, of course. Uh, in addition to the $5 million uh, investment that you folks are making, you also have another announcement that you're making specifically uh, to honor Stan Sheriff. Right, so we're, we're equally excited to share not just the uh, $5 million 10-year program that we're doing with the university, uh, but also through our foundation, we're making a $100,000 contribution to UH Foundation uh, in the name of Stan Sheriff and, and his family. Uh, we thought it was just so appropriate because uh, really this arena and this center uh, just means so much to our community and Stan was really the, the driving force behind that. We wanted to recognize both Stan and his memory as well as the, the Sheriff family. Rich, I want to get your reaction again. Of course, uh, this is sort of news to you. What do you think about this uh, announcement and really helping to perpetuate your father's legacy in this way? Well, what a great honor. Um, you know, I want to thank Peter Ho and the entire Bank of Hawaii family. Um, it's such a great honor to be able to um, have, see that scholarship in my dad's name go to student athletes for many years to come. Thanks, Rich. David, I want to come back to you here. Talk a little bit about this scholarship and what it means to the department and also how will it work? What student athletes will qualify for this scholarship? Well, first of all, well, this is a really great day for UH Athletics. So thank, thank you, Peter, and, and, and to your whole team. Um, you know, this um, scholar, endowed scholarship um, you know, from the Bank of Hawaii Foundation, um, obviously that's uh, so meaningful and impactful. Uh, this scholarship will go to um, any uh, local kid who plays in a uh, UH athlete, student athlete who plays uh, one of the arena sports, uh, whether it be men's basketball, women's basketball, men's or women's volleyball, and also went to high school in the state of Hawaii. So uh, that's their criteria. We have a committee, uh, it, it comes out of our academic area, where they will uh, go through all the uh, applicants and they will choose one based on that criteria uh, each year. So uh, again, really excited about that. And what a great um, way to uh, honor the legacy of Stan Sheriff, so thank you. Great. Also joining us here this morning, we have two big supporters and longtime supporters of University of Hawaii Athletics. Joining us here, also socially distant here at the Simplify Arena at Stan Sheriff Center, are uh, these two supporters. We bring in right now uh, founder and chairman of Isle, Dwayne Carisu, as well as the owner of Murphy's Bar and Grill, Don Murphy. Gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us here today. Murphy, I want to first start off with you, of course, as someone who has helped to contribute to the University of Hawaii Athletic Program over the years. Uh, what does an announcement like this uh, mean for the department? Oh, it's just a great shot in the arm. And I'm so, so pleased that the Bank of Hawaii is doing this. Uh, it's great for not only the university, but for the community to help get us started back on, you know, recovery and financial recovery. And, and it's just a wonderful thing that they've done. 
Thanks so much, Murph. You know, another question that I have for both of you is, both of you have been longtime supporters of UH Athletics. How important is it for corporate sponsors, for people in the community to give back to the university? And how have you seen that helped the community as well as the sponsors as a whole? Our culture here in Hawaii is all about giving without thinking about anything um, uh, or getting anything back in return. And we have here Don Murphy, who's really the epitome of that generosity and, um, and, um, the, and an all-around good guy. And we need 10 times more of these Don Murphys in this town. Well, seeing what the, when the community gives back to the university, it does so much to lift everything up. I mean, some of our greatest memories that my wife and I have are coming here to the stand sheriff and watching things and seeing people that we know in the community and business leaders and all here having a good time and, and, and supporting the, the university. Dwayne, this question for you, you know, as a prominent businessman and also a philanthropist in our community, you also have done so much to give back to the community. You know firsthand what this donation by the Bank of Hawaii means to the University of Hawaii. Uh, I wanted to ask if you can just sort of speak about not only the donation and what it means to the University of Hawaii, but also for just the economy as a whole as we sort of reset and restart in this time of COVID. Well, first of all, thank you, Bank of Hawaii. And thank you, Peter Ho. We're proud of your leadership and that of your employees at Bank of Hawaii for making this watershed investment in University of Hawaii athletics. You know, our university is world-class in so many ways, astronomy, marine science, Asian history, to name a few. And we're consistently named as a top tier research university year after year but few people know about this. We need a rallying cry for our community to stand behind this institution and toot our horn that we're just as good or better than anybody else in this world. And there isn't anything better to do this than supporting than the support of, athlete, of athletics. So we appreciate Bank of Hawaii we appreciate the leadership and the vision of David Lassner, Tim Dolan, David Matlin, and the Schur family for the vision and carving that pathway to make this happen. You know, it takes resources to do this and um, Simplify Arena has a big time ring to it. Let's hope that today marks the beginning of one day Simplify Arena being mentioned in the same breath as Pauley Pavilion of UCLA, Gate Center at USC, and Maples Pavilion at Stanford. Thanks Murph and Wayne uh, for being here and joining us. Peter, I wanna ask if you can sort of expand a little bit more on what Dwayne just spoke about. Uh, of course, this is a significant donation for the University of Hawaii, but during this time of COVID, it's almost like an opportunity to start again and for people to somewhat be inspired and hopefully feel uh, like we can return to some sense of normalcy here. Yeah, well, I think, that, I think that this site here is a perfect example of where we need to head as a community. I mean, if you think back to when this facility was concepted and birthed, it was the 80s uh, into the early 90s. That was a difficult period for our state and it took vision, it took, it took uh, bold leadership and it took really the concept of Imua or moving forward. And that's exactly what we need to do from this point forward. You know, this virus will, will run its course, it will leave us and then we, you know, we'll be left to pick up the pieces and that's gonna take leadership, that's gonna take innovation. I think it's gonna take the university to help be part of that part of that outcome. Dave, I want to bring you in here again. Uh, you know, if you can just sort of speak about in, in your closing thoughts about just overall this donation, uh, a lot has been donated to the University of Hawaii from the Bank of Hawaii, a lot of big announcements we un unpacked here this, uh, this morning. But if you can sort of speak about just overall what it means to the University of Hawaii Athletics Program and looking forward, what can fans look forward to as we move into 2021? Yeah, well, to me, What's incredible about this gift, this is a gift of hope. 
you know, it's a gift of hope, it's a gift of um, optimism, and I think it's a great example. Uh, it's, it's a leadership gift, and um, I mean, for our student athletes, it's also a good lesson to them about to, to learn gratitude and to learn generosity during very tough times. Um, because they're the beneficiaries of this, along with the whole state, I really believe, and our university community. So, um, you know, we're, we're grateful, we're thankful. Um, and, and it's really, to me, this just sets us up as we head back to um, competing, you know, in front of fans, uh, striving for championships in the classroom, as well as, you know, in our conferences. Uh, so, I, you know, I just want to end up just saying, you know, thank you very much, Peter, uh, to, to you, uh, the Bank of Hawaii Foundation, Bank of Hawaii, the Simplify team, um, we're, we're proud to be partners and, and we're proud to be sitting right now in the Simplify Arena at, the Stan, at Stan Sheriff Center. Thank you. We want to actually, Rich, I want to give you the final word here. Uh, you know, if your dad were around here, what do you think he would say about what the Stan Sheriff Center has become and really now the Simplify Arena at Stan Sheriff Center? Of course, uh, a lot of improvements over the years and you have sort of been a part of that. What do you think he would say about where we're at now with this arena? I, I think he'd just be really proud. You know, he fought so hard to get the facility built because he knew it would be a game changer for University of Hawaii Athletics, for the state of Hawaii, for the fans of Hawaii. And, you know, I think it would be a, a, a look of satisfaction and um, definitely uh, a, f a feeling of pride that, you know, it was done and done right. Thanks, Rich. You know, as someone who has actually been a part of a coaching staff here at the University of Hawaii and worked here and now being able to work as a commentator along the sidelines, I've seen firsthand over the years how this arena has brought so much hope and inspiration really for the next generation of uh, young athletes out there who dream of playing on this court. And a lot of that is attributed to Rich Sheriff and his team and the amazing work they continue to do to keep this place in such pristine shape and one of the top facilities in the country. So thank you, Rich, uh, for all that you continue to do to help to keep this place so special. Thank you, Peter Ho and Bank of Hawaii and Bank of Hawaii Foundation for your generous donations. Uh, Dave Matlin, thank you so much for your leadership during this time and joining us here as well. And thank you, uh, all of you who are watching and being a part of this conversation. Of, of course, we look forward to welcoming you here to the Simplify Arena at Stan Sheriff Center, hopefully soon. But until then, we hope that you all stay safe and go Bulls. Ahoy ho.